All right, so here we have an Elasticsearch deployment in the Elasticsearch namespace. You can see we have three nodes deployed and to view the data and indexes within that Elasticsearch deployment, we have a Kampana dashboard set up here in the Kampana namespace. So that is what we'll be working with for our demo. We have a couple of Kubernetes clusters loaded into PX Backup. We'll be working out of Kubernetes 16 because that is where our Elasticsearch is deployed. Let's head over to Kibana. Here we can see that we have the dashboard access to our Elasticsearch cluster. And if we go to the discovery view, we'll be able to see what data we currently have in it. And this is what we'll be working with for uh, backup restore. So here you can see we have one customer um, in the customer index. So uh, right now, this is the current state of Elasticsearch. And so what we're going to do is kind of add data, do a backup, and, and, and then restore after that. So let's go ahead and add a piece of data here. This is going to add a second customer uh, just based on the name here. So we've quickly added that customer. We can refresh in Kibana and see that second customer added. And what we'll do now is head over to PX Backup and perform a backup of Elasticsearch. And so what we'll do is take a backup using our pre and post exec rules, which will make sure everything's flushed and frozen to disk. And that will then kick off the snapshot backup of all the Kubernetes objects. Here you can see there's a number of Kubernetes objects available in this namespace, including uh, Elasticsearch itself, persistent volume claims, config maps, secrets, persistent volumes, etc. So there's a lot going on here. In order to back up Elasticsearch and the data within it, we just click back up from this namespace view and give the backup a name. Any significant name works here. Then we select a backup location. We pre-configured S3, and then we select our pre and post exec rules. This is what's going to do the freezing, flushing, API snapshotting, whatever we set up in those pre and post rules for Elasticsearch. And we're gonna take a look at what they actually do in a second. So here we've kicked off the backup job. So while this backup job continues, let's go look at those rules so you can see what they're doing. Here we have a pre-rule and a post-rule for app name Elasticsearch app, which targets our Elasticsearch uh, cluster. If we look at the details here, we can see there's three actions to the pre-rule. They can have a number of actions. The first one's to freeze the file system. Basically this makes indexes read only. And then we flush, make sure everything in the transaction log is pushed to disk. And then optionally, which we're doing a third time is we're actually taking a, uh, a elastic search snapshot. So um, in the case of our recovery, the recovery backs up everything in the volume. Whereas the uh, snapshot you can pick and choose. And then the post rule doesn't unfreeze, which will, allow us to write to that index again. So let's go check on our backup, see if it's done. You can see there's three or four volumes currently uploading. These are the uh, volumes for Elasticsearch and anything else in that namespace. Uh, if we quickly refresh here, we can see all four volumes are backed up. The backup job is a success and there's 26 Kubernetes objects. And you can use the show details to really get a lot more detail, which shows you the volumes and the resources, specifically what they are. Next, we'll go ahead and do a quick refresh. We still have two records here. What we're gonna do is add a bunch more. So what this is gonna do is basically add, I think four more records to the customer index. And we quickly refresh we can see all four, and now we have a total of six customers in that index. And so remember, we took a backup when, when we had only two. So if we perform a restore on Elasticsearch, we should go back to that state where there's only two customers in that index. So let's go ahead and click restore. Uh, note that with Elasticsearch and, and streaming or messaging uh, applications like this, you typically want to use a schedule. We only did a one-off backup, um, but you would likely want to do this on a schedule so you're getting kind of a up-to-date information. Kick off the restore back to the same Kubernetes cluster, and this will go through a similar state that the backup did. It'll uh, do the reverse. Basically, it'll restore all the volumes into PBCs within the Kubernetes cluster 
that you selected as the destination, and it will restore all the objects. In this case, we're restoring to the same namespace. So keep in mind that uh, because we did this, we also said replace everything, which will actually replace all the Kubernetes objects within that namespace. This makes everything stop and start again. If you wanted to restore to a new namespace, that works too, and there's no downtime for your original running application. So now we can see that the application resources are beginning to restored, and this is signified by the terminating resources that we originally had. So each Elasticsearch node will be terminated, cleaned up, and our restored services will be added. And the first node is starting to run. And again, we're going a little sped up here, and all three nodes come back online and our restore is a success. You can see here, restore success. So now let's go back to our Kibana dashboard and do a quick refresh. We should only have two records. There we go. So we've officially restored successfully back to the original state that we expected. And that's backup and restore for Elasticsearch using PX backup with pre and post hook rules. Thanks for watching. Until next time.